The major scale, also known as the Ionian mode, has seven notes. If we label each note with a number, you get the scale degrees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. It doesn't matter what the tonic note of our major scale is, it always has the scale degrees 1 to 7. For example, C major has the notes C, D, E, F, G, A and B, with the seven scale degrees we mentioned. The major scale is useful as a point of reference for all other scales or modes. The focus of this video is the Mixolydian mode. It is also known as the fifth mode of the major scale. It has the scale degrees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and flat 7. C Mixolydian therefore has the notes C, D, E, F, G, A and B flat. As you can see, the only difference between the major scale and mixolydian mode is the flat 7 note. Because the flat 7 note is further away from the tonic or one note than in major, mixolydian has a more relaxed sound that doesn't feel like it wants to resolve as strongly as the major slash ionian scale. It is also worth looking at the Dorian mode. It has the scale degrees 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, 6 and flat 7. So the only difference between the Dorian and Mixolydian is the three notes. These notes of difference will be important in defining our Mixolydian chord progressions later on. The Mixolydian mode is one that is used widely in lots of different styles of music. Everything from pop to jazz and blues. Its distinctive major sound makes it very popular. A lot of classic rock relies on the 7 chord of the Mixolydian mode for its core sound. If you need more help with modes then check out our video in the description below. You can use the notes from a scale or mode to create a series of chords. These chords are what make up a key in songwriting. The most basic chords are constructed with three notes and are called triads. They will be either major, minor, diminished or augmented. Let's use the C mixolydian mode we saw earlier to construct our chords. To create our first chord we take the first note which is C and then skip a note which takes us to E and then skip a note from E which gets us to G. These three notes will create a triad. In this case C, E and G create C major. This is our one chord. Then we move on to the next note and start again. In C mixolydian the next note is D. If we skip a note from D we have F, skip a note from F and we get to A. D, F and A create a D minor chord. This becomes our two chord. We then repeat the process for the remaining notes of the mixolydian mode to generate a set of seven chords. Note how we have repeated the notes twice here to make constructing the chords easier to visualize. This gives us the following chords. One is C major, two is D minor, three is E diminished, four is F major, five Five is G minor, 6 is A minor and 7 is B flat major. Let's now look at some common chord progressions using this pool of chords. Although we're in the key of C mixolydian, remember that the Roman numeral system means you can use these progressions in any key you like. Just work out your pool of 7 chords and use the progressions in the same Roman numeral order. As we saw earlier, the only note that is different from the major slash Ionian mode is the flat 7 and the note of difference with the Dorian mode is the 3 note. We will therefore want to use chords that spell out these differences in our mixolydian chord progressions. Arguably the most common mixolydian chord progression is 1, 7, 4, 1. It uses all of the basic major triads in the mixolydian key. Please note that we will use the key of C mixolydian in our examples. This is the best known mixolydian progression. It is used extensively in classic rock songs and it is easy to see why. The first reason is it uses all major chords which means on guitar it can be easily played by using open or bar chords. Therefore many guitarists will come across this progression by simply practicing playing major chords. From a theoretical level the progression also works well. Starting on the one major chord clearly defines that we are in a major mode. This highlights the note of difference, the three note, we mentioned earlier with the door 
Dorian mode. Moving to the 7 chord then strongly plays our flat 7 note as the root of this chord. So within the first two chords we have defined our progression as clearly Mixolydian and not Ionian or Dorian. The descent from 7 to 4 and then to 1 contains root notes that are a perfect fourth interval apart from one another. This provides a nice symmetrical resolution to the progression. You may also see these three chords in different orders within a progression, so feel free to experiment. Before we move on to the next chord progression, I'd like to thank you for choosing to watch this video. We rely on your kind support to keep the channel running. If you are able to help us, we now have channel memberships and super thanks available. These allow us to keep on making songwriting content that is available to everyone. Click on thanks and join below this video to find out more. Another popular Mixolydian chord progression is similar in structure as the first progression we saw, but this time we introduce the minor 5 chord. See how using a minor chord changes the feel of the progression this time around. Like before, this is clearly a Mixolydian progression. As previously, the 1 chord anchors us in a major mode. Moving to the 5 chord introduces our flat 7 note again. The basic triads that have the flat 7 note in them are 3, 5 and 7. This separates us from major slash Ionian. We then descend down to 4 and back to 1. Let's now look at two more common chord progressions. We're now bringing in the minor 2 chord. You'll see that it is replacing the 4 chord from the first two progressions. Like 4, 2 is also also in the major slash Ionian mode, so we need to pair it again with the 1 chord and either 5 or 7 to complete our Mixolydian sound. Pay attention to how swapping the major 4 chord with the minor 2 chord changes the feel of these progressions. So far we have only used basic triads in our Mixolydian progressions, but you are of course free to use different chord types in your Mixolydian songs. You can experiment with this on any of the chords, but where it is particularly interesting is in introducing or emphasising the flat 7 note. As you understand now, this will reinforce the Mixolydian sound. There are many ways to do this, so what we discuss here won't be exhaustive. If you add a flat 7 note to the 1 chord, it becomes a dominant 7th chord. Here's the first progression we discussed with a 1 dominant seventh chord in it this time. The 4 chord can be played as a sus4 chord. This removes the 6th note of the mode from the chord and replaces it with the flat 7 note. Let's add this chord to our progression with the dominant 7. Another way you can emphasise a note is by using chord inversions. We know that the 5 chord has the flat 7 note in it. If we play the first inversion of the 5 chord, it puts the flat 7 note as the lowest or the bass note of the chord. This makes it stand out more than the standard chord. Let's swap the 7 chord for this inverted chord in the previous chord progression. You can swap out chords in your progressions in different parts of a song to get more mileage out of your chord progressions. Let's play the original 1-7-4 progression followed by our new version. Imagine this as a song section and experiment with these sort of ideas in your own Mixolydian compositions.
Watch the video on screen now to better understand all seven of the major scale modes.